Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Antje and today I'll be talking about a new romance novel Begin Again by Mona Kasten. And this was a novel I both loved and hated at the same time. We are following our main character Ali who moves to the fictional college town of Woods Hill which is about two hours from Portland when she is trying to get as far away from her former life as possible, especially her very dislikable mother. But when she then reaches Woodsall, she realizes that it's not that easy to find a room at the beginning of a semester and she's already getting quite desperate until, begrudgingly, this guy named Caden offers her a room in his flat under the condition that she sticks to his three rules. First, don't talk about your girl problems. Second, keep your mouth shut if I bring someone home. And thirdly, we will never hook up. And that's kind of all you need to know when you go into Begin Again. It is your typical romance novel, it's nothing new. But I do really love the trope that Mona Kasten employs. Back in my fanfiction days, I absolutely loved Harry Potter fanfiction where Draco and Hermione were head boy and head girl and had to share a common room and then grew from enemies to lovers and that's why this forced sharing intimate spaces and then falling in love is absolutely my jam. And in the case of Begin Again, I think Mona Kasten was able to employ this trope perfectly. She has the right amount of negative tension between Ali and Caden without having them hate each other, so it seems realistic or plausible that they would be able to fall in love at some point without having these irreconcilable differences between them. And just in general, I thought their characters were fleshed out enough to make them believable and likable or dislikable. And also the side characters were employed in such a way that they furthered the two main characters and just showed different sides of them except being two people falling in love. So the side characters really helped to make Ali and Caden more three-dimensional. In general, I really enjoyed Mona Kasten's writing style. I thought it really flowed in a nice way. And what she really had down to a T was her pacing. Because as I said, this enemies to lovers roommate setup isn't anything new. And through her pacing, this build-up just added up really, really nicely and made it impossible for me to put the audiobook down. I was actually staying up till 2 a.m. in the morning just because I couldn't put the story aside and I think if it wasn't too due to her writing style that wouldn't have happened. But as much as I loved Begin Again on the one side, I do have to say that it is also quite problematic and one of the reasons is just the setup between Ali and Caden. Caden refuses to give Ali a key to her room or to the bathroom which means we have multiple instances where Ali wakes up in the morning and Caden is kind of just lounging around in her room or when she is using the bathroom that he just waltzes in without any consideration for her and instead of showing how problematic this behavior is Mona Kirsten chose to include witty banter and just funny banter into these situations using these instances to move the characters together instead of bringing them apart as it would have been logically and this is kind of a spoiler so if you don't want to know how a begin again ends just skip to the timestamp at the bottom at some point ali is kicked out by caden due to a fight misunderstanding whatever and she is forced to look for her own place and to be able to finance her own flat she goes and looks for a flatmate and at this open house kind of event she has Caden turns up and sabotages it completely, scaring away all the potential flatmates because he wants to move in with Ali. Though at this point they aren't dating or anything and just like with the keys this just shows his very controlling, power-hungry nature and just the general red flags surrounding him. But again it's kind of brushed aside as romantic or whatever. Another point I want to mention is that we have this one character, Scott who is Ali's good friend, but he is more a token gay stereotype that pops up again and again in the story. His only job is to lust after Caden or other male friends of Ali's, or he's constantly talking about his sex life. So in general, he doesn't add anything to the story and I felt kind of uncomfortable just reading about his character and 
he was the only character that was really left one dimensional within the story which I thought was in bad taste or was just in general not a good look. I read romance regularly so I know that it can be kind of problematic at times or kind of toe the line towards iffy but in the case of the problematic things I just mentioned I didn't think they were necessary devices to move the plot along. All of these situations where these problematic things were employed could have been resolved in a different and more sensitive or consensual way. So I am currently in this moral dilemma of really having enjoyed the book and having loved it and at the same time being very aware of how it was not well done or all the things that are just in general wrong with it. What I can say in defense of Mona Kasten is that this book, Begin Again, is the first book in a series where every book focuses on a different couple or character and in all the following books she has consent and just respect down a lot better. We don't really have problematic things on this scale in any of her other books so I would say she probably learned from this book or probably the feedback she got on it and really developed afterwards and showed that it is possible for her to write romance that is really romantic and doesn't have you feel uncomfortable or perpetuates harmful ideas of what love looks like. I don't really have a closing message for Begin Again. I neither want to recommend it nor not recommend it, just because I think it's a very individual thing where you yourself say this is something you can support and read or where you say this is um, a problematic thing that you just can't stand for at all and you don't want to have anything to do with it. Um, I totally understand that I have my own issues with certain things that are not deemed problematic by other people or not as problematic as I myself see them. But yeah, I think a lot of it is just also down to whether you like Mona Kasten's writing style or not, which really was a deal maker in my case and just made me love this book. I don't think I would have liked it as much if she hadn't been the author. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye!